Well, hello there. Retro PC Durham, it's Chris here. It's been a while, um, but uh, I'm uh, making efforts to get back into the YouTube thing again um, after a bit of a mental health break. Um, anyways, I have some exciting news. I got a new ThinkPad. Um, I had previously had a, uh, a ThinkPad P1 Gen 4 uh, that I purchased last year and uh, was really happy and excited about it. It's super powerful, super awesome, but um, not the right laptop for me, unfortunately. Um, uh, all the things that I loved about my old ThinkPad P71 from a number of years ago, they just weren't the same with the P1 Gen 4. Um, so, uh, and I also missed having a, uh, a smaller, more flexible type of laptop, like my previous laptop had been, which was an L13 Yoga. So I got myself a replacement. I sold my P1 Gen 4 already, and my replacement just arrived. And uh, we're going to open it up, and it, uh, I'm going to show you what it is. Can I show you what it is? Can you see that? Is that showing up there? There it is. This is the brand new ThinkPad X13 Yoga Gen 3. And you get to experience it being open. Now, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, one, because it's a new laptop. Um, and I'm always excited to open up a new laptop, new ThinkPad. Um, but also, I believe, if I remember correctly, this is like a brand new product as well. Like, just started shipping. So, um, this is pretty cool. So, let's get this thing opened up and take a look at what we have. I'll remove the top part here and bottom part here. And... What do we got? We got our standard ship group information and we've got our laptop here and the packaging. Let's get our trusty little knife out here and cut, cut. I think this knife may be ready to go. It's a little bit getting, getting to that point where it's just a little bit not sharp, not super sharp anymore. All right, so let's slide this out. There it is. There's our X13 Yoga Gen 4. The, um, the feeling of this new uh, carbon fiber and magnesium combo is really nice. It's really nice, actually. I like it a lot. This, this reminds me a lot more of the, um, the older carbon fiber feel of like a ThinkPad 600 when it was like fresh. Um, today, if you got a ThinkPad 600, you can, it's, you know, it gets really tacky. Um, but that fresh feeling is really nice on this. Um, yeah, so we'll take a look on one side. We've got dual Thunderbolt ports, HDMI out output, and a, a USB 3 powered, and then a USB 3 non powered on this side, and audio jack. We have the garaged pen because this is a touch capable machine, uh, and then that's it. Now, um, on some models, um, you can get an optional smart card reader um, if you configure business purposes basically only. And then in this empty space here, there would be, I believe, where you'd have a SIM card slot if you had um, a WN capable. Um, WN models are not available yet, um, at least not in North America. Uh, when I was looking at models that were available, they're just not shipping yet or the functionality is not there. Um, and frankly, WN is not as popular here in North America outside of business purposes um, as it is, say, in Europe. Um, and that's basically because um, everybody just wants to find Wi-Fi hotspots because our ISP services for for uh, for uh, mobile is uh, terrible in this country. Um, anyways, so let's open it up here. You can see here that beautiful 16 by 10 uh, aspect ratio screen. Um, this has got the um, anti-glare film and, and touch film on it. So you can see there's a little bit of that. You can see that sheen there where it's not like a glass piece. Um, so it's a little bit of a dulled view, um, but it should be more than made up for by the brightness of this. And we'll we'll check to see if I can do that. And it's got there, you can see there, a privacy guard can be activated by hitting function D. Nice keyboard setup, big trackpad, which I'll never use, and our lovely track point. And then because it's a yoga, right, you can do the full switch over to this mode. So I had an L13 Yoga, which is basically the same form factor of this for uh, a year or so. And I really, really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the capability of this, the yoga capability. Um, and the fact that this form factor, right, where an X1 Yoga with the 14 inch was just, it was too much to be in tablet mode. It was just too big for me. Um, um, whereas this 13.3 was perfect for tablet mode. And now having a six by 16 by 10 aspect ratio instead of the 16 by nine that my uh, L13 had, um, this will be great for vertical view for reading websites and stuff. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, power button here. 
uh, which has the built-in thumb uh, fingerprint reader. Um, it won't power up right now because obviously um, it's not charged. So I'll have to plug it in and charge it for a little bit. And then uh, what I'm hopefully going to be able to do is uh, run a second video for this. That will be kind of like a overview, um, you know, first week, first month experience um, to go along with this as well, um, where I'll maybe do some benchmarking and things for it. But I'm pretty excited to have this. I'm really, this is going to be fun. Um, having a nice uh, a laptop that I'm going to be uh, able to carry around with me wherever I go around the house um, and is really convenient and portable. And uh, if I do, do decide that I miss having discrete graphics uh, for gaming or for editing or whatever, um, I'm going to look into possibly an eGPU setup. So in the comments below, if you have suggestions for a really good um, external GPU setup um, that can go through Thunderbolt, um, let me know because um, I'm trying to research it now and there's lots of conflicting information about what's good and what's not good and what works and what doesn't work. Um, and uh, I'm interested in finding out what the, the best, uh, uh, most efficient way to be able to set something like that up is. Um, yeah, once again, thanks for checking this out. Hope you are uh, enjoying and staying safe and staying healthy and we'll catch you in the next one.